Hi, I'm Taylor Carver, founder and head trader at thetradinganalyst.com. As a seasoned trader, I know what it takes to make money in any market. If you're looking to make money in the market and to be guided by a true professional, then look no further. As a member, you'll receive real-time text and or email alerts with profitable trades. A detailed trading plan so you're well prepared for the market day ahead, as well as trade reviews and educational material, plus so much more. Here's what some of our current members are saying about the membership. Whether you're just starting out or are a seasoned trader looking for an edge, you'll find a home here at The Trading Analyst. Sign up right now and start making consistent money in the market today. And we're going to take a look at a bunch of indexes here. First one we're going to take a look at is XLF, the financial ETF here. A couple things I want to point out here. We did break over this downtrend line. You can see we have a touch here, 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 and again right here. And here we grind it up against it and we finally broke over this downtrend line. Overall, I think this sector is due for higher prices and I think eventually it's going to break this resistance here at 24.15, 24.10. You can see here that we have a nice little uptrend here and we have a flat top that more than likely is going to break out. So short term side, you want to see this uptrend line hold. But again, longer term here, we're still above this downtrend line. And I do think overall we're headed higher here in the financials. Next, let's take a look at the technology sector here. And overall, let's take a look at the monthly chart. Monthly chart, very bullish. As you can see, a tight squeeze on the Bollinger's right here, the Bollinger Bands. And then we finally broke over this key resistance here at about $45. We broke over that. Nice break over that. Nice monthly bullish MACD cross as well. And we did so on a nice pattern. Really nice pattern here. Um, I think that overall the market's going to be heading higher. Um, well, the financial sector, right? I'm sorry, the technology ETF right here. Short term, let's look at some levels. We've got resistance up here about 47.25 and then support down here at about 46.70. Short term basis, I think that if the 46.70 mark, if we close below that, more than likely we're going to head lower. But if we do head lower, remember that key breakout point right down here, just below $45. As you can see, it was key resistance key resistance and now it's going to be heavy support. So heavy support right here at just below $45. If we head down lower, this is a big buying opportunity. At least that's the way that I'm seeing it. Next, let's take a look at XME and XME metals and miners ETF. You can see that we broke this uptrend line. We only have a couple of touches. Here's a couple touches and then here's a couple touch but we haven't really had any more touches other than that, so I'm not putting a ton of weight on this trend line break, especially when you consider that we have some pretty big support right here, just above $24. You can see that it was resistance right here, right here, right here, right here. So if we do head down to that level, that's going to be some pretty big support. And even lower, if we head down to $20, this is my favorite level, so hopefully we'll get a juicy entry down here near $20. And why is that? We've got a big volume by price bar. Volume by price is not just a random bar on the chart. It's not just some random indicator. What it does is indicate how much volume has been traded at a particular price. So when, a vo when there's a lot of volume that's traded at a particular price, that means it's either big support or resistance and since we're above this level heading back down to it is going to be support okay and here we're going to have a look at the XRT retail ETF overall I do think that we might be seeing higher prices we broke over this downtrend line you can see a touch here 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 and then we finally broke over it 
came back down, retested it, and headed higher. But, as I was mentioning on the last ETF here, we have another big volume by price bar right here, and that's exactly where we keep getting rejected, keep getting rejected right there. So this $46, $47 range, that's going to be a key, key level to head over. So that's going to be a big level that you want to keep an eye on moving forward. Next, let's take a look at the XLE Energy ETF. A couple things I want to point out here. We've got this uptrend line right here. Bounce, bounce, again a bounce right here. So we do have support from this uptrend line, but we also have heavy, heavy resistance between $70 and $74. So you can see how many times have we gotten rejected at this price level right there, okay? And as you can see right here, this $74 was previous support. Lots of bounces right there, so a lot of resistance between this range, and it's going to be a hard level to crack. But if we do crack that level, it's going to be very bullish for the energy sector. You want to keep an eye on that level. Thanks, guys, for stopping by, and we'll see you next time.